Good morning, hello, my friends. It's very good to see you all. Good morning, Andre. Uh Hello, Astrid. Fabulous, Astrid. It's good to be here again after this break we had, um, was it last week? No, two weeks ago. When two Nico weeks was ago. Hmm. But that was fun too. Myself. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, hopefully. Hard for me to believe that it's fun without me as well, but um, and good to see all the people in the chat. Have Yay. everyone here. Yay. Look, there is Lakeside. Yeah, long time no see Lakeside because you missed the two last shows, I guess. You have not been around at the last show and even not at the show before. We're taking notes here. Yeah, I, I'm taking notes with my little like notebook. That is my <laughs> attendees list. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. But before we are, you know, starting to blah, blah more around, let me quickly introduce myself and you. Uh, my name is Astrid. I am... Um, Head of events for DEFCOM, and I'm also the host of DEFCOM's indie um, show Vertical Slice. And today is Andre with me, and not Nico. So if you have seen like the Twitter and Instagram promotion, all that stuff, I know you may have expected Nico to be there today, but it's just Andre. But <laughs> that will be fine as well. And um, thank you. Also happy to be here. Not be welcome. Here. <laughs> but if you are lucky, he will, he will join us later in the chat or something like that. But meanwhile, it's a me. It's a you. But it's not yeah. only you, it's also Andreas. Because today's Yay. guest, Andrea said, hello, from Set Software, uh, is joining us for a little play session of Autobahn Police Simulator 2. Today is at, it is as German as it's get uh, as it gets. Astrid, Andre, Andreas, Autobahn. Triple A. We are triple A. <laughs> oh my god! I haven't noted it before. Now I'm like overly excited. <laughs> Actually, quadruple A then, uh, if we're talking about Autobahn Police Simulator as well. Right. It's difficult to get more A's into it. Yeah, Andreas, good to have you here. How are you today? <laughs> I think you will do pretty well. What, what's your role within set software? Yeah, what's your role in set software? You are... Uh, between our leads and me and communication with publisher for example is also m my responsibility and i think uh it's enough <laughs> because it's a lot of more than uh it sounds yeah but is there actually some time left to play the game developing at the moment or are you totally lost in in administration <laughs> tasks it depends. Sometimes uh, there is some time to play and to test uh, our game. Uh, and sometimes um, for some weeks, I uh, only hear from our leads and from our QA uh, what are they working on and what are the issues and yeah. uh, which things are fixed and which uh, things are new and so on. Yeah, it depends. Talking about issues, I will quickly jump in. <laughs> so I am experiencing like a lot of technical issues today. First, I had no camera. Then there was the sound missing of Andreas. Even it was actually on. So please, people in the chat, just give me feedback if something is not working. I'm trying to fix it by calling Juliana because she is my go-to person when I need something to get fixed. <laughs> So, and, and also greetings to Juliana, by the way, as she as I, I can read her in the chat already. Great to have you here. Good morning, Jules. So sorry for interrupting with that, but just wanted to clarify that. Really giving my best technical issues. Sorry. Yeah. All good. You can you can do it. 
No, um, um, Andreas, I mean, we, we, we know, uh, know each other for, for a long time and I'm super happy that you are here for such, uh, that you are here today and that you can make it because usually we want to have a very uh, broad pers uh, perspective on the people that are developing games um, um, on the indie side in Germany. And I mean, um, set software um, is around for quite some time. I mean, when, when was the company founded? Uh, we founded the company in 2008, uh, so yeah. it's a long time ago. And before we founded the company, we uh, started as uh, yeah, as indies, as uh, hobby uh, developers, and uh, make some stuff. And at some point, we decided, okay, we will try to uh, to make our first. Uh, um, game which can be published and then it took a lot of time and then yeah, at some okay. point we decided to found the company a real company but, not only freelance stuff and gbr yeah. uh, things on the yeah. but the real the real shit gmbh the gold standard then somehow yeah. well um i mean founded in 2008 um that's quite some time especially in this in this uh, uh, challenging times nowadays uh, to yeah successfully run the company for like 13 years um and it and uh, i mean you you have been indie or independent then before it was a thing actually at the at the term took over um but i'm curious uh, while Astrid is booting up autobahn police simulator 2 um how did you end up i mean if, you made games with, with a friend in your spare time or did you do some modding? Uh, what brought you really into game development itself then? Um, honestly, I started make some small games uh, with a friend and then friends. Uh, um, and uh, modding, I didn't do a lot of modding. I did some maps for, I don't know, I think Age of Empires, uh, some some stuff but never published it uh, somewhere in internet it was only for me and for friends and then yeah. at some point we um we uh, decided to try make our own games and at some point we uh we decided to make a game which can be published and after that uh, we yeah we found the company mm -hmm. so and yeah, Astrid? Yeah, quickly, just, you know, for the viewers, I already played the tutorial yesterday. So we are starting not with the tutorial, but with actually, I think, the first mission. The thing is, I forgot what my mission was from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so let me quickly check out that again. Uh, oh, I just okay. have no mission, right? Yeah, perhaps um, you have to speak with someone in the, in the station. Oh. You can see this icon. Um, you, of course. Yeah. Always have to speak with someone. Yeah. Go ahead. Enter all the about talky station. talky. Talky talky. <laughs> um, uh, 2008, I guess you didn't use Unity at this time. Which, which uh, no. code were you using or which engine or did you use your own engine? Um, uh, this is also something interesting, I think, uh, because at that point when we uh, develop uh, smaller games or smaller projects uh, in our free time. Uh, yeah. We um, also started several times started uh, uh, our own 3D engine. And at some at su such time, it was uh, interesting because it was possible. Yeah. At the moment, I wouldn't do it again. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it was very good learning, especially uh, for me and uh, also for guys uh, who were uh, co-founders and yeah. we um, did some technical experience which uh, you can't do uh, using on the Unity for example at the beginning but on the other hand we invest a lot of time in this technical things and um, at the end for our first game which were published we uh, still took uh, a game engine which was already there so because yeah. building our uh, own technology was so hard and was so buggy and so <laughs> unfinished and so big for a small team so we uh, decided to use i think it was talk 3d at that time but mm -hmm. we modified the engine uh, a lot 
for that. And yeah. It looks Good like morning, Robin, got a in the now. chat. Yes, I got the Hello. mission now. Robin. And now the real fun starts because I'm the worst driver like on controller that you can imagine. It's so much fun. Plinky, plinky. Oopsie. Oh. Mm. But it's going to be so much fun for all of us, especially for me. Ah, I, yeah. I, I, are you actually <laughs> using the traffic lights or does it does the car do it by itself? I did that. Oh, wow. Looky, uh, looky what I can do. I say, I know, yeah. The blue light, uh, but uh, we have also lights, I think, uh, on the car. I don't know if you... If Maybe. Right. Yeah, could you please Maybe. Uh, <laughs> turn on the light? Ah, yeah. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's already very hard for me to keep like a track, okay? Hi, hi. Oh, <laughs> Just for the record, I said you got a driving license? I got a driver license okay. in real life, and I'm actually a good driver, I would say. I'm a good driver. Okay. So no Just accident not... since... <laughs> yeah, and since I now remember what happened weeks. with the mission yesterday because I already started the mission, you know? I remember now, but when you... Let's say when you fail, it gets aborted, right? And so I get back to the last yeah. save point. And to, yeah. you know, like spare on that embarrassment. Embarrassment. Okay, some it tap, looks tap. like you're doing good now. A little bit yeah. drunk on using the lanes, <laughs> but... <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, coming back to the engine, I mean, okay, you, you um, used some, some engines that were at the yeah. market at this time and also did yeah. some heavy modifying of it by yourself. When did you, when did you switch to the Unity, uh, to, over to Unity? Because um, this is Unity right now, or? Yeah, this is Unity right now. Uh, the switch was not, um, not uh, immediately uh, after our first game, which was a space shooter, which was released box, um, we uh, changed uh, the technology. It was not the best decision, perhaps, but perhaps it was. Yeah. Um, to Ocris 3D, this is an open source 3D uh, render engine. Uh, yeah. Where we uh, did some our framework on it mm. and did uh, handball uh, sports games, handball simulator at yeah. that time. And after that, we changed to Vision Engine. This engine is uh, also not uh, not here anymore. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it it got doesn't it, didn't it get bored somehow? Yeah, uh, anyway. yeah, yeah. I think by Havoc or something. That, yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and then we tried Ogres 3D with our framework again, and after that we changed to Unity. Okay, so you definitely project. know something about uh, graphic engines. Meanwhile, by by testing them out, all more or less. Yeah, uh, we definitely know how uh, engine an engine uh, work, and yeah. can modify a little bit perhaps, but not me, my technical director and co-founder Oliver. Mm -hmm. Astrid, um, what's your mission actually? Um, there is a stone thrower who is, wait, oh, throwing stones from a bridge and they sent me to the bridge <laughs> to like investigate and stuff. But meanwhile, okay. I think that dude in front of me is actually too fast and this is why I'm going to do a traffic measurement because just, ah. I can, you know, can, because I can, can, so. Can you do it? Uh, can you do it I, in, uh, during the mission? I'm I don't sure. know. Let's try. I oh, I can't. Think it, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm happy that it didn't work because it is not by design. <laughs> so, so it's, it's, it's working the right way. So that's why I'm happy. <laughs> okay, as, as it was intended. Very, yeah, good, very yeah, good yeah. to see. So we so that leads us brings us to the point that there is like mission based gameplay as well as a free ride mode. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. You can so, if you are not in a mission, you can uh, driving uh, through the through all the uh, world and um, make uh, traffic controls or mm -hmm. accept um, accidents where you can drive to and. Um, yeah, and figure out what is happening and yeah, take okay. some information and so on. So how, how many people were you, uh, have you been when you're talking about your co-founders? Um, with how many people did Setsoftware start out in the beginning? 
Uh, at oh. the beginning, we were uh, six co-founders, but we uh, reduced it uh, wow, okay. during the time to three. At the moment, we are three uh, shareholders. Yeah. At the company. And, and the overall size of the studio so far, how many people are now working at Set Software? At the moment, around about uh, 18 people. Okay. But so actually, uh, I, I have to ah. add that some of them are. Uh, are um, Long oh, no. time oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, learn, uh, long time inter internships. Uh, uh, interns, one, yes. Interns, yeah. Well, one of, of them because of, yeah. Uh, Ausbildung, I don't know how to say it in English. Honestly. Training. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's training or apprenticeship, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, but yeah, both would yeah. work. So, yeah. yeah. But Ausbildung, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, 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 oh. And, <laughs> and you said in the beginning, okay, you are doing some, some uh, uh, space shooters. When was the time when you thought about like simulator games? That's the, that's, that's the thing that we should try. And especially then, how did you came up with the idea of doing like Autobahn police simulator? Yeah, why police? Uh, are you obsessed with handing speeding tickets? Speeding oh! Tickets? Yeah, what the you heck? Can control, I think, but what is this dude doing here? I hope this is not a bug. I don't know. Uh, um, uh, doing autobahn police uh, were a long way. Oh please, yeah. don't be a bug. Mm. I don't need to. <laughs> I, 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 I don't think that. It, uh, oh, I don't know that it <laughs> shouldn't work. But. Yeah, but he is. I mean, uh, let's see. <laughs> that is no, unfortunate. Absolutely. You know what? I would just drive back and take yeah. another exit. <laughs> uh, you can try to uh, um, teleport you. We have teleport points. When you are driving through the world, you uh, unlock teleport points. And you can uh, uh, make some uh, destinations um, faster. They have been here, ah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I Board need to yourself. go to the map, right? Yeah, yeah right. Okay, so oh, help nice. me. What, where I am, where am I, and where do I want to go? You are um, at uh, left up. Um, this is me. Oh, this is me. This, this, this right thing, yeah. Okay, and where do I want to go? Because I'm uh, like without I any think, orientation. I think <laughs> you have to go or to take the left uh, icon. Um, down of you, a little bit, this blue ah, yeah. icon, yeah, this Ausfahrt, um, this exit icon, Autobahn this exit one? icon, mm -hmm. um, I can't see, yeah, nee, no. this one, nope, one of the, of the two uh, for the exits, but uh, on the left side, quick travel, this, this one, one. Yeah. Yeah, quick yep, travel. yep, yep, okay, and then it I guess press work. A, do you like, yes, I want to travel there, uh, yes. Ooh. Yeah. But that, oh, that nice. looks nice, like, 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 like that the map is really looking like a German Autobahn map, uh, something like that. Everything in that game is looking like a real German Autobahn, like a motorway. Um, yeah, back to your question about uh, why uh, making uh, Autobahn police. Uh, first of all, uh, we, um, as I told, we make a um, handball uh, sports game yeah. and uh, we got luck that uh, we got publisher uh, Astrogon for that yeah, game okay. and uh, they um, wanted to brand a lot of things with simulator because it, uh, run, it, 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 it was successful for, um, for I think distribution and yeah, that's right. why I mean, there was this this hype of simulator games at all um, yeah. where you could like like nearly every job got got a simulator but yeah. w which year was that roughly around uh autobahn uh, handball simulator released 2010 uh i think yeah. january or february 2010 okay so and after that we um because I have to be honest, it was not so successful like we no! uh, expected. Whoa. Yeah. And so we uh, Whoopsie. thought about different <laughs> ideas and so on. And at some point, oh. uh, we spoke to the publisher again, and they uh, told us why it 
not to make a simulator game, we should pitch something in that direction. And the first simulator game, we real simulator game, uh, it was a uh, emergency uh, ambulance simulator. Mm -hmm. You can, I, I think it will take a. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think it I missed take, the exit. <laughs> yeah. But you know um, what? I learned yesterday through the tutorial. No one cares if the police is driving in the wrong direction. Yeah, we uh, had this feature in Auto and Police One, and <laughs> you couldn't uh, uh, drive uh, in the false direction too long. Yeah, you got too many um, negative points, and it was uh, broke up. But yeah. in Auto and Police Two, we uh, decided to remove this uh, function. Okay. Because but look, I used the blue light like the sirens as well. Oopsie, oops, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, now we're good to go. <coughs> cool. <It's>, ooh. <laughs> so now, so now it's a feature. No, uh, and uh, it definitely. W it makes a, I think it makes the game more uh, freely. Uh, I mean, you can. You shouldn't do this in the in the real world, but uh, yeah. you can do it if you want. <laughs> you have the option. I yeah, made it. Maybe, maybe that is important. Maybe that is important to say that everything that Astrid does in this game, it's a game. Don't do it in real life. Yes. I mean, yeah. But don't. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. You, um, you, you decided um, um, to add this, but um, we came from the from the um, um, emergency simulator at least, you know, uh, simulator to uh, emergency ambulance simulator. Ambulance, emergency, you know, simulator, and we did it, and um, mm. it was, I think, okay. Then we did um, what we did after that. Can I go I'm not sure anymore, second. honestly. <laughs> but uh, we did two uh, two parts of this uh, emergency uh, ambulance simulator, and uh, then we, um, or during that, we did also a um, ropeway simulator. Yeah. This is something uh, what was not, what has simulation, a technical simulation uh, part uh, in the gameplay, but was more a tycoon. Um, yeah, and after that, we uh, did also other stuff till we uh, spoke to Aerosoft. Hmm. And uh, at some hmm. point, we we spoke about different ideas, and we came up, as we and they came up together uh, with the idea of uh, Autobahn police. I mean, we spoke about different ideas like police simulation games and what what kind of police, uh, what should they do and so on. And at some point we decided, hey, why not to try Autobahn police? Mm -hmm. And it took a while uh, to do the first part because we also tried to make a spin-off of the like mobile game. Yeah. Yeah. And after that at some point uh, the sales numbers were okay so we um, spoke about the second part and there we tried to uh, add some more things than only free play because we um, noticed during the development of the first Autobahn police that um, Police work is not only technical uh, driving around and so on. This is more also about some stories. Why an accident is happening. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we can tell more about and make it more interesting. Uh, to. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, no problem. No problem. Um, it's 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 very nice. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> Um, I'm 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 saying uh, more things about the game, which uh, what the game is allowed to do and how it looks like. So yeah, yeah. Um, yeah back to to topic. Um, we noticed that 
a lot of accident or something that has stories behind why an accident is happening um, because someone is drunk okay uh, but there are also other stuff like that we have such things in Ottoman police too because uh, someone wanted to uh, hurry to um, get their flight to, uh, uh, to travel somewhere and so on and yeah, so on okay and that's why we make more little story stuff and then we decided to make also a campaign to uh, make it more interesting also for people who want to um, want to have some progression and not only playing uh, free play and just driving around. And how did you come up with all those stories? Did you actually talk to the Autobahn, like to the um, highway patrol or did you just uh, made them completely up by yourself? Uh, we are following uh, some police uh, social media channels. Uh, we also, <laughs> nice. we also um, watched some um, some reality TV uh, shows what they had there, and then we took some ideas, modified them a little bit. Uh, we also have had some own ideas. Um, yeah. And then we tried to uh, figure out if it's uh, realistic or if it's believable. And then if it was, we, um, yeah, we tried to um, create implement a, it. Implement yeah. Implement what, what, Astrid, what, what's the state of your, of your investigations here right now? Ah, so I went to the bridge. I mean, you were with me as I went to the bridge and I found some cigarettes and those are very rare. You know, like mm. not a lot of people smoke them and not a lot of stores um, actually sell them. And my nice colleague, Hans, Hans Haas, who is, by the way, with me, my colleague, right? Because this is me and my colleague yes. with me in my car. Um, he told me that he actually knows oh. uh, where you can buy um, those cigarettes. And we went to a um, gas station and questioned yeah. that. Dude, and now I forgot to read what he actually said. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got the surveillance picture, but, but maybe there's a yeah. Shows the I think I think I got some words. like you know some good uh, hints and tips, and now I should like inform my boss. Can I call yeah. him, actually, Andreas, or do I need to drive no. back? No, you have to drive back. You can also fast travel. Um, yes, totally. Because so. we learned that I'm not the best driver. <laughs> so. I like that the gas station is called ASAP. ASAP. That's that's uh, my favorite brand. Where, where is yeah, my police that. station actually located? By the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at Nissen, yeah, right. At Nissen, right. somewhere. Nice. There. Nice. Is this is this a real part of the autobahn somewhere in Germany or no. is it totally made up? No, we decided not to uh, um, make real parts because of um, uh, then we have to be uh, more realistic. Uh, and yeah. Then uh, we have to take care of uh, a lot of things what mm. we can't do at the moment. And uh, the next thing is what we figured out um, during the development of Autobahn Police 1 and also during the development of Autobahn Police 2 that. Mm -hmm. Uh, if we make a real uh, length of autobahn and yeah. autobahn parts, then uh, it's not very um, funny to driving uh, too long from one part to another part. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I that's understand. why we we also tried. We already tried in autobahn police two to uh, make them shorter. Yeah, and in Autobahn Police Three, we did um, uh, we we make the frequency of uh, exits and entries and such stuff more often, and give the player the possibility to uh, to have more fun. I hope. Yeah. We will we will we will see it after the release. <laughs> okay. Yay! Yeah, but... I got some good stuff, which I now can invest, actually. Let me show you, because here's my workplace, and, you know, I got points for the good stuff that I do, which I then can use here. But I don't know what is useful. Let's ask Andreas, what um, is useful? Uh, yeah, it, it was 
plan to be more useful a lot of things <laughs> um yeah also useful always useful is something with cars um because it makes them better okay cool cars Faster. so there's a little bit of rpg <laughs> elements in the game where you can uh, where you can educate or where you can train your officer yeah uh yes we tried it uh i have to be honest um this was our first step in this uh category yeah. with uh, yeah Autobahn police and uh, uh not all the things uh, get so good like we wanted but uh, we learned a lot of and we uh make it better uh, in the next game yeah what is my mission what should I do? I think you have again to go to this uh, mission icon to um, um, it is downstairs. It's downstairs, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can do it. I can do it. Let me out. Uh, yeah, huh. yeah, right, right. Yes. And here, here to the guy on the. Uh, yeah, here I think. Hey, dude! I know you're from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Lori has driven into a bridge pillar and snow. It's okay. I okay. You solved the, the stone thrower case. Already. Nope, I didn't. It's more like okay, we got now some you know evidences, and we need to wait until we get more evidences. And if oh, there is okay. more stuff to come up, we will actually yeah. get back to that case. Okay, very good. Now we we tried to make a um, uh, story campaign with uh, several cases which uh, can follow uh, after each yeah. other at mm -hmm. some kind uh, at some point. And if you want only to play some short things, you uh, can play uh, free play and uh, accept one of the accidents, for example. And there are some bigger accidents where uh, the people tell also the story with actually... why it's happening and so on. Okay, yeah. Actually, also quickly check where I need to. Where do I need to go? Ah, yeah. So I could actually take a quick travel, right? I thought we could see you a bit more driving on the autobahn. Yeah, but, but look, I am here. I am here, right? And I need to go here. It will take forever. But if you want to see me driving forever, sure. There we and, go. And, and this is what, uh, what I said, that um, also, also we tried to uh, make it not too long in Autobahn Police 2, it's still too long. Uh, also, it's not realistic uh, yeah. what, about the kilometers we use. Yeah, um, okay, sure. Because the, I think the players uh, want to have sessions <laughs> like, okay, I'm driving some minutes, then I'm doing some stuff at yeah. the mission point or something like that, and then I'm driving again some minutes, and it shouldn't take too long because the game is not only driving. And uh, I think it is also something that make us different from uh, some Ooh, racing It was game. close. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Andre, do you now agree that I take like a travel port thingy and then travel for another five kilometers? Are you good with that? Yeah, it's okay. It's up to you. You are the, in the driving seat. Cool. cool, 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 cool. I just, I'm, I'm, uh, um, I'm, I'm curious um, about the community of people that play um, Autobahn Police Simulator and Autobahn Police Simulator 2. Um, are, are you running a Discord or something like that where the community can exchange each, uh, each other, talk to each other, and, and where you discuss, I don't know, game design ideas for, uh, for updates or, or future titles? Uh, yes, we have Discord um, channel uh, or server. Uh, it's not very big uh, yeah. because we uh, started it. I don't think last last year or the year before. Um, very late, uh, but we um, 
we have the people who uh, suggest us uh, ideas, who uh, complain about bugs, who complain yeah. about features sometimes and suggest uh, how to make it better. Um, we have people who are waiting for uh, release of the next game and so on and so on. Um, and yeah, the, I think the people wants wants to play a police game which is not a shooter where you have kill more people than than you rescue uh, yeah. so i think <laughs> this is this is our point some investigation some um, police work because i mean police firefighting and so on uh, all people know uh, what the stuff is about and um, this is i think a nice thing Talking so, about people that actually want to play, we are raffling one key uh, for yes. Autobahn Police uh, 2 today. If you want to participate, you just have to write hashtag Autobahn Police 2 into the chat and you are with um with um what is no and you are in yeah right and you're in and you're you into are the in raffle. For the raffle and you're right. in for the raffle and we're going to draw the winner at the end of the show. Exactly. Yeah, make, make I can I can add something. If uh, you are not PC players, then we uh, uh, can change the Steam key and give you Xbox or PlayStation. Oh, nice. that is super cool. So yeah, I so, would just so make sure to yeah, and to make our moobot happy, entering Autobahn Police Two hashtag Autobahn Police Two big A big P and two as a number. Ah. It also exactly works when you like, just, you know, take all the uh, even, small letters. Even better. Even better. Oh. So I got a new tutorial coming up. This is new for me as well. I haven't done that. Sometimes a danger spot has to be secured as fast as possible. Okay. In this case, the traffic can be slowed down. Okay. Your partner will tell you when to activate the LED signal to accident or danger. Okay. Before you reach the danger spot, your velocity should be under 50. Okay. I'm like 140 now, but I can do that. Break! Yeah, you have to Break. do it in the, in the right. Okay, why is there standing there? You have to do it in the, uh, at the right uh, point, so that's not. This is a cool thing, uh, what we did here with the mission, but honestly, it's tough to, uh, to understand when you have to do it. I hope it will work. What should I use now? Accident? Uh, Hazard? No, um, Please don't. Uh, can you go more? <laughs> more? Sure I can. Oh! Attention! Traffic jam, huh? That sounds um, good. Or is it a convoy? Can we do? Uh, no, no, not convoy. It's more about <laughs> uh, to uh, slow down cars. I think it um, could be also attention. Hmm. Let's try attention. Camp, but, but I'm not sure, uh, honestly. Mm. Because I, I played the game... Uh, I didn't play the game for a long time, honestly. <laughs> Can you slow down uh, traffic to, uh, to some, uh, some speed? Uh. And because we are... Uh, I played more Autobahn Police 3 in the... Uh, last months. Uh, I'm not sure if the feature was already here or w uh, was changed in Autobahn Police 3. So I'm sorry about that. Oh no, don't be sorry. Well, it looks like you're doing a good job. Yeah, I think, I, I think, you know, it and was just about getting here. Like, okay. that was my task. Task complete, okay. slow down traffic, I did everything right. <laughs> I'm such a good officer. Officer has red on duty. <laughs> but, it, but there's an, what is this icon there? I think there's something that you need to do there, or? That is right, I'm not done. Look, ah, I need to secure, I need to yeah. secure everything. Securing well, the we scene, talking about, photographing, we accidents, talking about clearance, okay. Firefights before, are there no firefights? Uh, so there are no fire, uh, fire at this mission, I think. As I can uh, remember, the, there is no fire okay. at this mission. It's, yeah, it's... 
we we made it uh, in Ottoman Police Street better, so you don't get too much things on one in one place. Ah. You have to to uh, get to take the, the cones, cones out first. Take the cones, yeah. yeah. Yep. Get yes. your hands dirty. Do some real police work here. Yeah, nice the cones. Welcome. <laughs> Yes, awesome. Um, okay, so you you came up then um, uh, came up with the idea of making Autobahn Police Simulator, and uh, yeah, how were the sales figures for the first title then when it got released? Uh, the sales figures were uh, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, fifth, fifth digits on PC. The first title released on PC, and then later uh, a spin-off first title released on mobile platforms. Uh, the mobile platforms were uh, not bad, uh, but because of the small price, it's not so much revenue. But yeah, it worked. And then we spoke about the second part. The, um, when we're talking about the mobile title, that was also something that was developed by your team, or did you was it? Uh, uh, did you give this to outsourcing to uh, to another team? Uh, and we uh, did Autobahn Police uh, 1. We did in mind uh, that we have to um, create, of, of that game, we have to create a mobile version so that we yeah. designed some features for um, Autobahn Police 1 two times hmm. at the beginning. Uh, for example, what we will do with uh, characters or what we we'll, mm -hmm. we will do with uh, accidents and how to uh, what would we oh <coughs> I'm sorry uh, what we oh, uh, do with uh, UI and so on so uh, that we get in mind and um, what we did is to create the LEDs for cars for example um, uh, in mind with uh, using them for mobile version, for example, as the mm -hmm. hero cars in mobile version, because um, the cars have a lot of polygons for uh, mobile devices and so on. But yeah, a mobile version we did by ourselves. Okay, and it was, was premium at this time or free to play premium, I guess? It was, it was uh, premium because um, free to, in free to play, we have no experience at free to play yeah. and then uh, we had to change a lot of more gameplay because uh, uh, free to play have to monetize and other kinds yeah um, sure yeah Ooh, what's happened to him <laughs> yeah the camera is glitching sometimes also you know what i think i can oh. <laughs> i'm gonna turn down the quality, but I guess, a bit. That, that first version that was available, um, I, it was also released on Steam, or was it also only uh, available through uh, digital uh, through retail distribution? No, it was Steam. It, it was Steam version, which was uh, released as boxed. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. But so. it, there was no console version at this time. Yeah. Right. We had in in turn uh, developments of a console version we yeah. got the game running on on consoles but uh, we uh, didn't uh, release hmm. and we didn't finish it we didn't release it hmm. on consoles yeah okay do i have to move my car to you know make the second picture and no i think you have uh, what you can do is uh, the, um, taking the boxes into the uh, ah, the now thing. I got it. Yes, into yeah. that blue square yeah. here, right? Yeah, I get and it. And then I need to take the second picture of that. The second picture is uh, perhaps not only on that. Uh, did you found uh, find the belt which is broken? Nope, not yet. Thanks I for think, telling me. I think <laughs> I, I I'm not sure if it is uh, this version, but we have one version, uh, one mission. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm not sure if it is this 
mission, but we have one mission where you uh, have to find that uh, the securing of the um, um, of the things in the truck are not right, and that's why ah, it's yeah. happening. Um, hmm. But I already did you make I... a, a did you take a photo of the. I'm not no, sure. ah, this is the one because I pictured the truck, but not the broken bell, um, yeah. the, the thing in the truck yet. Yeah, it, it can be too, right? Why don't you pick up the parcels <coughs> now that are all the boxes that are? Because I want to take the pictures first. Yeah. Priorities, my friend. Ah, it's yeah. about priorities. No, I'm happy pictures. that the two of us are not police officers, actually, Astrid. <laughs> Me too, because I'm causing a lot of accidents, to be honest. <laughs> in the game, only in the game. We're talking about game. Game, mm. game, game. Not sure, about real life. No, no issues with priorities. But you know what I really like in that game? No one is caring what I actually do. If I drive way too fast, no one says something. If I occur a crash, no one like is blaming me. It's actually... Are you usually the... Are you usually the person that is complaining a lot with the police if they are doing something in real life? I'm curious. Who, me? Yeah, you. I would like Andreas to answer that question. I, <laughs> I think uh, since we, we do um, stuff uh, with, uh, with police work, uh, I can understand some things they do a uh, little bit more. Uh, and why they are doing it, um, yeah, yeah, especially on such traffic. Uh, yeah. Things. Yeah. yeah. Did, did did you get some feedback from real police officers that are telling you like, yeah, I'm working at the autobahn police, and I discovered that there's a huge mistake in your approach uh, of handling mission number twelve or something like that? Uh, mm, I don't think that we uh, get a lot of uh, feedback from police officers, uh, but we uh, we get a lot of feedback from the community, uh, what is uh, realistic and what is not realistic and what yeah. we uh, have to do and so on. And some things are uh, real good, uh, some things where I agree, but perhaps can't change at the moment or uh, which uh, things are more complex to do and more difficult to do, so we have to think about if it's possible or not. And some things are more about, um, yeah, okay, but why it's important. So um, uh, we try to analyze uh, all the feedback and then yeah. evaluate it if it's possible, if it's if it makes sense, if it's. Um, it improves the game or not. Mm -hmm. And um, you came up with the idea then then, uh, then you were working on the next title as the first one did well. And uh, then you had plans to do it on all consoles uh, as well at this time. Uh, we, uh, yeah, we, uh, um, we wanted to um, release the second part, uh, second game on all consoles. Yeah. Uh, from the beginning, so that we uh, made some decisions uh, in mind uh, to bring it on consoles, but mm -hmm. it took a lot of time uh, for us and also for our partner to uh, speak about, to uh, bring it, to make a lot of fixes, to make a lot of uh, optimization um, yeah. till till we could bring it on the consoles. But but now it's successfully available. I mean, uh, this is game. I mean, the show is called Vertical Slice. But uh, right now, this this is a finished version of a game. The game is available since when this year? As the PC version was available uh, since December 2017. Yeah. The PlayStation version was available as February, I think, 2000. 19 or 2020 i'm not sure yeah. it's, it's a, i i think 19 i think oh i'm not sure uh 20 20 not 19 because 20 we have 21 right yeah so and the xbox uh released at the end of uh 2020 yeah and the switch version is coming 
in the near future. Ah, nice. And uh, Astrid, you wanted to add something? Just... Yeah, I had a question. What are those points of interest that I'm, you know, discovering when I'm driving around? Is it the Autobahn uh, Church? There are there are some points. Uh, we uh, had some uh, have some uh, collectibles there. And, ah, uh, achievements. I, but but I, yeah, right. But I think points of interest are only for um, visualization. And but you can you can find some collectibles, still some collectibles in the game. Uh, mm -hmm. Some ducks. I, I don't. I'm not sure. Rubber ducks. Um, rubber ducks. Oh rubber yeah, ducks. rubber ducks. Yeah. So uh, this is a kind of um, yeah. Also making some achievements. Oh, that is mm. cute. Maybe I can find one. Huh? Uh, let's see. But I honestly don't know where they are, so I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't help. Um, I'm so glad that we're actually talking to the <laughs> developer. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, uh, next time I can bring uh, uh, our game designer with me and uh, she will uh, tell a lot. Spoil of the about. rubber ducks. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, Aslid? Yes. I mean, I want to follow the case, right? Inquire? What is Inquire, actually? I, I would just Ask follow the questions. case. I'm no, hmm. I'm, I just kind of talk to that guy here. Hello, dude. Well, how, are how, are the, how are the sales figures um, on um, uh, consoles compared to the PC version? Um, when you release the game for consoles I, the first I, time. I think the... <coughs> Um, the PlayStation version is number one platform for uh, sales figures. Yeah, okay. Uh, then I think uh, PC is following and then Xbox. But PC, I think PC is following because uh, of uh, box version and because it's available as PC box version, I think for 10 euro already. Yeah, okay. Uh, so it's... Uh, relatively uh, cheap in comparison yeah. to console version or to uh, first release point. Okay. What is R3? What is R3? How can I activate R3? That's, oh. You have to push the stick. Ah, down. which one? The left or the right one? R. R. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, yeah, right. right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ah. Right. <laughs> ah. Have I now activated them? I did, right? And now what have I to do now? Like go you in there? You can do it again if because I think it was about the camera and perhaps that's why you couldn't see it. I um... <laughs> sock. Mm, yeah, I think yeah. important sock delivery that you. Do are I have an evidence? Here. I don't know. Do I have? I want to. I don't want to fail. I don't want to fail. What to do? Uh, oh. You have to say it at the moment. Why? Yes. I say it's an yeah, evidence. I'm, I'm, <sighs> I'm honestly, we learned a lot of uh, at the development of, of that game. We learned, we learned a lot of, and we, hopefully, we uh, learned so much things and we uh, in, implement them in Autumn Police 3. Um, So we have a question. We have a question in the chat for you, Andreas. Oh, okay. Have you guys seen Hand of Blood's videos on the game, and what do you think of them? Huh? That's yeah, an interesting we, question. We, we uh, saw them, and we saw also other gay, uh, other um, influencers playing them, uh, the game. And uh, yeah, there are some glitches which the people are. <laughs> Uh, using and um, yeah, some things I already said it in a lot of uh, interview, uh, not a lot of, but in interviews that we couldn't change them afterwards. Uh, yeah. After after the release, uh, it was not easy, and uh, that's why some glitches are still in, in the game. For example, this camera glitches. It's not mm -hmm. uh, very easy. Um, things to solve. Yeah. 
uh, but yeah, some videos were uh, were funny because, of course, we uh, see influencers playing the game uh, in funny way, and that's why it's it's open world game. It, it's, yeah. You can play GTA as well as Autobahn Police in such way. Uh, we know we have more glitches than GTA. I'm sorry about that, but we have a <laughs> little bit smaller team. Uh, and uh, yeah, and we like people playing the game. It doesn't matter how. And uh, I think especially the thing with um, character creator for the PC version in Outbound Police 2 worked very well for in influencers. Because yeah. they did uh, very ugly characters and played with them, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. But that is, I mean, that is a very interesting question. Uh, I mean, regarding um, that, sure, there's one thing where you can argue about the quality of the game if there are glitches in it. But on the other side, I mean, I got the feeling that a lot of influencers or creators are playing titles because of the um, of the famous or infamous glitches and bugs that are inside of that, because that is that is something that is enjoyable for the audience. Yeah, I I agree, uh, and uh, there I'm I'm not sure what to answer because on the one hand, me as developer. My my heart is bleeding when uh, I'm uh, when I'm hearing bashing about the game because I know yeah, sure. how we developed it uh, and uh, how much work uh, it was. I know that some uh, mistakes were done, uh, yeah. and but but on the other hand, I see people playing it, uh, and then I see also people people enjoying it enjoying it i mean yeah. if the game were I mean, that's... only too buggy and not playable and not enjoyable yeah. then it doesn't matter what what you are doing since the people wouldn't play it but ah, if they are I... playing it then they enjoy it right? yeah and i mean in the end uh, the sales figures are on your side i would say as the game so well so there must be an audience that is interested in this uh, in this kind of content and especially in the game you made because oh. I, I think it's it's always easy to say like yeah there are bugs and glitches but for all those people uh, it, it's always easy to say when you never have done anything by yourself and even uh, it's even complex to make a small game somehow um, that it is to make a make a big game uh, there are a lot of restraints and and restrictions to get over it and it's not an easy work so um, there should definitely be more praise to the to the developers of everything it's not like everything is done easily where you can just know yeah okay the the camera does glitches please flick, fix the glitches there are reasons why there are glitches inside and it's not always that easy to fix it. yeah what what's what's the case right now astrid I oh i just got the donut i just got the donut i need to need, uh, <laughs> i need to get sure. a new case but, but is, is the donut store next to the police station sure yes That's, it is so. across right across yeah, we, yeah but, oh but, look that's the, here, the um, um, the stone thrower, he is back. Ah, yeah. Uh huh. I gotta get that. Get back on the case. Cheeky. Repeat Sorry, offender. Uh, Andreas, you want to add something? Yeah, um, we tried to make some, uh, in, implement some funny things too, like yeah. donuts, like. Uh, uh, things with rubber ducks uh, collectibles like um, uh, yeah and um, some things are working and some things were done halfway and uh, we did not have uh, uh, time to uh, finish them at that point mm -hmm. uh, but yeah now with with the learnings from Autobahn Police 2 and from all the previous games, we uh, do the next game and hopefully the next game and the next game and so on and make it much funnier and cooler to play. Talking about but the next game and the next game and the next game, uh, maybe Andre has already asked it, but I see, uh, I saw on Steam that Autobahn Police uh, Simulator 3 is going to be released soon. So what exactly does soon mean? Yeah. Um, for us, it's very soon, uh, but um, it is it isn't the first 
part of the 2022. Okay. Yeah. That is soon, first, actually. Yeah. You know. First quarter, so January to March, something somewhere in between. Something in between. Okay. Something in between. Yeah. And, and um. Yeah. I'm actually well, not sure well, if I'm going into talking the about right um, um, the second part that we're still playing. I mean, can you talk some rough sales figures, like how much copies did you see, uh, did you sell on the PlayStation? Are we talking about 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, maybe just uh, some rough figures? Uh, I uh, internationally, I think we sold over 100,000. Wow. That's cool. PlayStation. Yeah, for 20 euros. Uh, uh, for 30. For 30. 30 euros, hmm. I, are you rich now? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Unfortunately not, right? Not. Um, we <coughs> we uh, reinvest uh, a lot of this money. We reinvest to uh, improve as a uh, Autobahn Police 3. I mean, we uh, planned Autobahn Police 3 and we got that state funding and then yeah. we uh, got some royalties and some royalties and then we uh, improve such things, uh, add some things, uh, add smaller features, add some missions. Uh, so we reinvest a lot of money in Autobahn Police 3. And Is also it? to build up our company. I mean, we uh, got a second location from the beginning of this year. Mm -hmm. And so we uh, grow a little bit. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, you, you mentioned before you're like 17 people now or 18 people working yeah. at the company. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's solid growth. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see that it's possible um, to make games successfully in Germany even if it's not like the, this super uh, topic blockbuster, something like that, but like doing solid work on the autobahn, on, on something like autobahn police, that this turns out into a success story as well, as, lo as you continue pushing it long enough and delivering solid quality to people that are interested in it. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we're, and I think we're mm -hmm. not alone. I mean, um, Aerosoft, uh, for example, has yeah. uh, several developers who made uh, or make um, and, or creating uh, games which perhaps not very um, are not very um, how to say it not very uh, polished but very interesting and has and have their own. Um, uh, target audience mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, the people are playing it and I mean uh, for example no truth this is a firefighting game it's it gets it has a big community or yeah. the bus uh, or the bus games um, yeah, yeah uh, sure. they are very successful or uh, also truck games uh, for example uh, yeah. they're very successful right, and it. yeah I really mind. That's that's a pretty pretty good thing about the about the games market that it's so big regarding all the topics that got handled. I mean, do, games don't have to be have to be about damsels in distress and superheroes taking care of rescuing them or anything. But it's also like ah. there are a lot of people who are enjoying themselves playing bus simulator, Notruf, or I don't know, um, uh, farming simulator. Or, um, yeah, farming simulator is also a, a good sample of. Uh, yeah. being successful and grows this success uh, i mean yeah um i, I mean giants did awesome job uh growing the community growing the quality growing the content and so on definitely and i mean everyone was was laughing in the beginning where it's just like oh, who is taking care of a game where you, where you drive a tractor around where it's like taking care of landwirtschaft um, but they they, um, um, they continue went on developing the title, evolving the quality. I mean, I, I still remember very good when Angela Merkel visited Gamescom once. The game uh, she wanted to visit was not a German title; it was actually Landwirtschaft Simulator, even if it's done by a Swiss company. But uh, that was a game she knew about, and I think that's 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 good for for the industry as well for people making simulator games. But um, 
talking about simulator games now, um, uh, uh, Autobahn Police Simulator 3 is in the making, will be released uh, next year. Will you focus on simulator games now in the future? Will Set Software be the simulator company as well with police topics or emergency topics? I'm, I, uh, I have to say that um, with police games, um, yeah. it's how to say it best. Uh, <coughs> it's um, it's not a real technical simulator, a, mm. a police game. I mean, there mm. are flight simulator, train simulator. They're more technical, and uh, we have ah, more, okay, yeah. more this. Um, yeah, we have simulator parts in it, of course. Perhaps not technically, but from the um, uh, from police work. Uh, yeah, so it's it's. Some people might remember Police Quest still, the, the old Sierra title. Did you play it with some inspirations out of, of Police Quest, maybe? Uh, I didn't play it, but yeah. uh, one of ah, our uh, employees at the time uh, played yeah. it and knew it. So, um, yeah. And I mean, police work is not such flying a vehicle or, or driving a, a vehicle only. It is yeah. also more uh, speaking to people, speaking to NPCs in our case. And mm -hmm. so that is what I said. There are some um, some stories to tell. And uh, I think that it's a mix of uh, believable uh, police work, like you yeah. see in, in, in TV shows. You, you see police officers doing some stuff and um, it is believable and uh, in addition you have some creative stuff from uh, writers there and i think it's it's a kind of mix of simulation and game um yeah take together in our case perhaps yeah that that's good i i can see it because right now it feels like you are doing the mass effect of police work then somehow yeah. by having yeah. this dialogue system also the rpg elements I mean, the, some times ago, I also did an Autobahn police game um, oh, for fun. 11 at the days of RTL. Yeah. It's been a while. Um, but that was really about high speed stunts and Autobahn car chases. But you're right. I mean, most of the it's like there's this conception of people doing police work, like being always uh, high, high speed car chases. And most of the time, it's stuff like that. By the way, uh, stuff like that. What's the stuff? That you I are need doing help. right now, Astrid. Uh, I, I need to do a sketch and I really need help. <laughs> yeah, it's it's perhaps not very easy. Uh, caution! Ah! Caution! Back, 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 back! Okay. Okay, let's do let's do that sketch. Okay, so open the menu. You hmm. can see uh, the photos you did, you can see of the objects which are uh, Place. For example, one object is always placed like a start object. This is, in that case, this ah, is uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, this this one car, this one orange marked car. Uh, oh. And the second have to be. Hmm. It's a bit right, perhaps. Yeah, bit. A bit right, mm -hmm. more like this. Not looking too bad. Uh, or perhaps rotating a little bit more, perhaps. Ah, yeah. okay, <laughs> get it? Okay. No, and then placing <laughs> this uh, lost parts. Yeah. Yes, yes, crap, crap. Okay, yeah. let's really yes. work in the making. It's it's one time if if people understand it one time then it is not not so. Uh, well, that was. Can I? Yes. Yeah. So we added some some help <sighs> in placing too. So that's yeah. Did you yeah. see some real? Did you see some real spikes in the sales figures after Hand of Blood's uh, videos or some yeah. other videos by, by influencers? Yeah, it, it depends. It depends on influencer and uh, it depends on the perhaps also um, and the time they're playing. I mean, um, we see some some pushes in this uh, 
and this selling drugs from um, people who are big and who are big enough and who were playing um, who are playing uh, simulator games like police firefighting uh, yeah. farming and so on uh, and um, why we could see very well that uh, when uh, hands of hands of blood uh, was playing it we had spikes uh, because the title is uh, not very new, so we do not get a lot of uh, um, let's plays at the moment, especially not yeah. from, from bigger uh, influencers. And when he was playing it, we uh, could uh, see some spikes. Not very high, because we still have sales, but uh, at some point we, we saw some spikes, yes. Yeah. Mm. I, it could be, I, I'm not sure if it is because he was playing it or because we uh, we are trending on YouTube with uh, with the game uh, very high in top charts uh, when he was releasing it. Um, so it perhaps was, I don't know exactly. Uh, why, how does that work? How do you trend in YouTube charts? I have no clue that there are actually YouTube, charts that, that uh, because... I, I mean the video uh, the video he did uh, was yeah. trending in the in the top, ah, top okay. gaming charts so yeah uh, perhaps another people uh, saw ah yeah yeah got inspired game. to yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to do so as but, well yeah but I didn't didn't do uh, too many research <sighs> on that thing because I in general I think that it's very cool that he uh, was playing the game and uh, I also. Find uh, find it very cool that also others were playing the game like Paluten, like uh, Not Trying yeah. to Foul, uh, like Gronk, um, and so on. Uh, some of the let's plays I like more. Some of the <laughs> let's plays I I don't like. But uh, this is the life. I have to live with it. <laughs> <laughs> but, Thanks, but are you actually? I guess. I, are you are you actually watching them um um live um or are you are you just uh, watching the record so you can skip through the more or more difficult parts for you uh, um i did not uh i do not watch all the streams live sometimes i uh, i see the stream some of the parts uh, of the stream live and then i uh, better uh, look, uh, watch it later when it's uh, uh, when I VOD, can, like uh, on demand. Jump, yeah, yeah. Uh, when I can jump through the video, perhaps to some points, and then also make pause and uh, watch look the highlights. Yeah. So on, yeah. Um, but I also do not uh, watch all the videos because it's uh, it's very much. Also, I mean, um, when. I'm, I'm very proud of it that a lot of people and a lot of big uh, German let's players play the game. Yeah. But uh, I have not enough time to watch all the videos because it's, uh, I mean, not trying TV, uh, for example, uh, they made 20, over 20 videos of the game. So wow. um, it's uh, a lot of stuff. And hmm. on the other hand, I. Uh, knew the stuff because I uh, developed and played the game during the development. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah. But what, what is the rough playthrough time? How long does it take to finish the game? I don't know. I think if you're playing uh, fast, then you can finish the campaign in around about six or seven hours, I think. But mm, you yeah. have to play very fast. Do not make a lot of mistakes and fast travel a lot i think and uh, so on yeah yeah so talking about the future what what are the things that you're going to Im improve uh, mainly with the next with the next edition of autobahn police <laughs> yeah we um we made completely different world uh, and add not only autobahn but also uh, country roads to the app so yeah. ah, you have mm -hmm. um, you have not only this some autobahn and uh, this is, but you have more 
an, a road network of autobahn and of um, uh, country roads. Yeah. Uh, we change a lot of stuff in back end to avoid um, camera glitches and so on. Okay. And uh, I hope uh, that we um, get it uh, under control. Uh, we uh, improved <coughs> AI, we improved the roads, uh, make them a little bit broader, broader yeah. uh, to, uh, uh, to make yeah. it possible to see that the AI uh, is, is reacting on your blue lights and so on, because okay, in yeah. Outdoor Police 2, you can't see very often when they are driving two pixels right or two pix pixels left uh, so yes. it's, um yeah we add new car we add uh, some new gameplay like um shooting you can use your weapon directly okay um and we improved uh, the how the free play and the story mode work together we have yeah. not real story mode anymore but we uh, make it work together to uh, for people who want more playing free to play because if the first one was too much free to play and no story then the second was uh, the second Oopsie. part was um, for people who wants to play story good yeah, but mission people, only then somehow yeah mm. yeah and but people who wants to play free to play they uh, they didn't realize how to play it in the best way. And so yeah. we changed and tweak uh, a little bit. And also small small things. Uh, we tweak a lot of small things. And I think one of our technical, uh, very interesting things is our try to uh, make um, procedural generated uh, uh, accidents with, mm -hmm. ah, okay. um, nice. with randomizing stuff in dialogues but also randomizing how many cars are there standing where they yeah. are happening how many uh, how many characters and how they look like and so on um, and I'm very uh, I'm I'm very curious if it's worked uh, if it worked for players or not yeah um, i hope it works but we will see because for us as developers it's something That's different good. when we try it when we speak about that sure. um, uh, we also have a lot of voiceover again much more than in outbound police 2 yeah and uh, this should Ooh. Make it interesting. We Ooh. have, yeah. I I I shouldn't tell too too, too much. I think um, we can speak about it perhaps next year when the game is released, and then I can tell sure. what worked and what not. <laughs> and then you come back to yeah. our show, and we are going to play Autobahn Police Three, huh? 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 Yeah, huh? of course, of course, of course. And I can bring uh, our game designer, and so I'm. Yeah. Uh, sure. You have a little bit more help than <laughs> my side. Oh, Aslan is doing well. Yeah, I feel that I'm doing good. I mean, you haven't seen me yeah. playing other games compared to this. I'm doing like very good today. <laughs> Definitely. I, Definitely. I can totally agree. <laughs> there's, um, and besides of Autobahn Police Simulator 3, there's also the secret project Flaumen Moose, where you got some some funding for it is there anything yeah. you can tell us about that one i i wouldn't tell uh, anything about it only oh. that it is of course of course it's a blue light thing and um yeah we will we will tell something about it in i i don't think not earlier than than the year after next year, um, I think 2023 we will tell the first things because the development uh, time is so long and mm -hmm. telling yes. something now it's too, sure, sure, sure. Uh, how to say it, we are, we, we are not ready to tell something what will 
be definitely there because uh, and what we see is that it would work. We have yeah. to develop first the things and then tell about them. Sure, to totally get this. Um, just share what, what is uh, official anyway. I mean, you got the funding from the German DEF grant or Bundesförderung. Uh, for how much money did you apply or how much money did you end up with in the end? Uh, we uh, end up with the money uh, we applied. Uh, 989,000, I think, something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. But that, that's, that, that's good to hear that there's this opportunity through the German DEF grant to subsidize game development here in Germany and make it possible that, um, uh, no offense, smaller teams got access to, to more money to make, uh, to grow and make bigger targets in the future. So yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. super excited about uh, um, that and what, what, uh, which new blue light game comes out from software then in the not so distant uh, future. Yeah. But for you, I mean, we, we had this uh, before we went live. I already asked you the question, so I'm, I'm repeating that one. Uh, do you feel yourself um, as a typical indie development studio? How how would you describe yourself when you're talking about when you talk about set software? Um, yeah, uh, as I uh, said, that uh, the definition of indie is something not uh, very. Uh, mm -hmm exact uh, thing but yeah. um, we described us as an independent studio um, because um, I think because we are we do games which are perhaps not typical uh, indie games it's no yeah. platformer for example it's uh, um, Oh no, uh, it's no, um, I always have to sneeze when I hear about platformers. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's no point and click adventure. It's yeah. no, uh, yeah, it has story, it has gameplay, it has, but it has also some things from reality, <laughs> like uh, police work. I, I don't say, I, I wouldn't say we are not indie, but uh, I call it better independent. Yeah. Yeah, which, which is uh, uh, which is totally fine. Um, but that that uh, uh, leads me to, to one of my last questions already. Where it's just like, how do you how do you treat game development then, making Autobahn Police Simulator series? Is it do you see it more like pure art or more like pure business or um, or a mix of both? What what's your treat on that? I think it's a mix of it. I mean, uh, we want uh, to get some success uh, and the success when, when the people playing the game, uh, yeah. then it's a financial success, but it's also success for us as developers because a lot of people playing the game. And um, it's a mix of creativity and uh, Sometimes we have to make some decisions based on uh, business stuff where we say, okay, uh, we can't do perhaps something yeah. because, because it's um, too expensive or we um, can't do it or shouldn't do it or should do it perhaps because the people want it or, or don't want it. Uh, yeah. But um, yeah, I think it's, it's mixed and I think it's... Um, it's, it makes more fun to have this mix in mind than only doing a game for uh, oneself. Because I think yeah. uh, if you are working on a game for years and then you release it and no one cares of it, then it's, mm. uh, it's not good because it do not motivate you to make the next game. And yeah, of course, perhaps you enjoy it and you have perhaps 100, 200, perhaps 1,000 people uh, who enjoy it. But is it, isn't it better than 100,000 people enjoy it? And sure. Right. Yeah. We have another question in the chat. How do you care for UX player experience? Do you employ user player research? Hopefully, Turley Knox is not selling his services here soon. Yeah. But. Uh, no, we uh, do not have any researches from uh, external uh, services. Uh, yeah. Peter, uh, 
external. Um, yeah, service is fine. Yeah, services, but uh, of course we uh, look at other games. What did they well? What do not, what can we? Um, where can we inspire us? Uh, what yeah. can we do better? We also have our own games. I mean, we make games for years, and uh, we see sometimes okay, this idea did not work, or this idea worked very well, and uh, so we. Um, use our experience and use the experience of other people. Um, we watch some talks or read some some articles about it, if we find mm -hmm. some, uh, to get inspiration, to get uh, some know-how, uh, but we do not use uh, any services. Yeah. I see. So, Turley Knox, <laughs> there is no business for you. <laughs> but how Just can kidding. people... But if people are interested in connecting to your to your community, where can they find the uh, Discord server, for example? Or... Uh, I can send a link. I have to find it because I uh, closed my Discord and I have to find it and yeah. send it to you. Yeah. yeah, send it to me because I guess when you post like the link in the chat, you're going right. to get banned. <laughs> We, we did this trick several times already with other developers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Send it to me and I will just post it in a link. As soon as I'm done finding my destination. That took me some time because I thought I know a better track than, you know, the game thought. And of yeah. course the game was right and I was wrong, so it took me a bit longer. Don't forget, yeah. everyone, there's still time to join the raffle uh, before we come to an end. It's Autobahn. I'm writing it down in the chat uh, again once more. Autobahn for these two. Hashtag. And then you should be uh, eligible for the raffle as well. All right. So what's your mission that you're doing right now, Astrid? Um, it's the second part of the stone thrower uh, thingy. So, so yeah. remember, there was oh, what is happening here? Hello, but I guess I can't talk to him right now because I am in a mission. Unfortunately, uh, yes. Yeah, so I got more evidences, and I am I already again on the wrong side, really? <laughs> yeah, this is. This is also we uh, learned how to make it better, and I think that we did it better in Autumn Police 3. But um, yeah, um, as I said, some things we had to figure out the hard way to uh, after the release. Um, and I think as small developer, it's um, it's okay because uh, we do not have so many. Uh, possibilities to work uh, on games for years and um, change big parts. We have a limited budget and have to um, figure out how we can deliver the game. And sometimes we uh, do some stuff which didn't work perhaps very well. And we also have limited budget so that we can't uh, buy a lot of services always for mm -hmm. UI, for uh, game design and so on. We have to decide what we can do, what should we do and what not. And only after the success, and I mean, we are happy now and um, we can afford more things. And only after that we can um, F pay some services which we couldn't pay uh, 2015 or something like that. Mm. Yeah. We are coming to an end. Oh no. Oh yes. I think I was a pretty good officer, actually. De definitely. Yeah, you I, was. Would, huh? I, I, I would hire you uh, to join the police force. Yeah. And now, yeah, now, now we have to wait. Uh, everyone has to finish uh, the game on its own to discover the uh, background of the stone thrower and what's going on there. Or wait, yeah, be excited about Autobahn Police Simulator 3 being released next year then. Yeah, which um, we're going to play, I guess, the next year. <laughs> yeah, <Here. right. laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today, Andreas. Thank yeah, you for definitely. the invitation. 
it, it, it was a pleasure. Good to have you here. And um, yeah, and I think that that's it. That covers it for today. For us, Ted. Yeah, at least for today. Hmm. Oh no, you know, we can actually do the winky part like this. Ah, um, like, yes, like yes. a smiley, nice face. And then we can say, oh, that's it for today. So <laughs> That's it for today. Bye. <laughs> so, thanks. <laughs> we totally thanks blew for this. watching. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. Have a good time. See you all soon. I'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>